Okay, so here we are. It's a little after midnight, about 12.15 or so. Um, I just pulled them off the uh, off the Weber. And uh, yeah, I mean, that, that temperature out there is uh, just sitting just below 200 degrees. You know, no way I'd be able to maintain a temperature. Uh, wind has picked up significantly. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, let's see what this whole oven thing's all about. Um, I've never done it like this before. Uh, I've done a brisket like it, but I've never done a pork shoulder. Um, the brisket I've done in the past uh, turned out just fine. Uh, nobody knew any difference. Um, normally I wouldn't do this, but I've got about 30 people or so, maybe not quite that many, but, um, you know, actually including the kids, I have about 30 people, you know, who are, you know, depending on getting a, uh, a, a small piece of this. So, um, you know, I got, I got to make sure this is, is, is awesome. Um, it's been smoking since, uh, seven, so... Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we got five hours of smoke on this. I'm confident that there's a really nice smoke ring in here. <clears throat> Looking at the Weber Probe. Uh, both of them you know, are somewhere at 153 and 156. So, um, you know, they got a pretty even cook, which is uh, something that I'm always looking for. Um, as you can see, it's really, really nice park on this. Not quite uh, what I would uh, hope for. I, I would have liked to leave it on there just a little longer, maybe another half hour, 45 minutes. But if you do the whole scratch test, you know, you just put your finger on there and pull it back. I'm not getting a whole lot. Yeah, a little bit there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not getting, you know, normally you'd see some rub. So... Um, I mean, this is, you know, you're not going to get much more smoke that's going to penetrate that. At this point, it's all heat cooking, cooking your meat. So, I'm going to wrap this up and uh, go to sleep. Probably get up here around 6.30 or so. Probably not quite uh, quite that early, but, um, you know, go to sleep, get up in the morning, and see where we're at. I do have the oven uh, set to 225. And my convection, um, I'm gonna, gonna wrap it up in foil. I'm gonna wrap, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do it tight or anything. I'm just gonna lay some foil over top of this and uh, seal it up. I might also throw some butter on top of this. Um, actually, I am gonna put just a couple, uh, couple things of butter on it uh, just to maybe try and get some more fat rendered in this. Um, you can see, actually, let's talk about that. So you can see, um, you remember all that fat I cut off? You can see right where it pulled apart. I mean, this is ready to just come apart. See that? It's already starting to kind of fall apart, which is awesome. So I'm going to add some more fat into this with the, with, uh, with a little bit of butter and uh, wrap it up, and we'll be back. Okay, so just before I wrap this up, um, I just wanted to show you real quick um, what I put on top. Just to... Just a couple of small pieces of butter. Um, this is just going to add some more fat content to that. It's going to help that meat break down a little bit. Um, there's also a little bit of apple juice in the bottom, um, which will eventually just steam and, and again incorporate back into that meat. The injection that I used um, had a lot of pineapple, a lot of orange juice in it, so uh, you know there's a lot of acidity there. So we'll kind of balance that out with a little bit of apple juice. Um, and of course some butter so um, yeah we're gonna cover this up put it in the oven go to sleep and uh, we'll see what it's like in the morning all right so here we are it's uh, now seven o'clock and about to take the wrapping off so as you can see here internal temperature has dropped which is exactly what we want Otherwise, it would keep cooking, but yeah, let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Pulls out. That should feel like you're just sticking a probe into butter. Cold butter. That's exactly what it feels like. 
texture a little too mushy. I hope I didn't overdo it. Just tears apart. Look at that smoke ring. I told you we would have one. Look at that. That is awesome. Oh yeah. That rocks. All right, so here we are, finished product. Look at that. Flavor is extremely intense, very uh, slightly smoky, not quite as smoky as I normally like it. Um, super bold flavors and I think everyone's gonna like it.